Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we're going to be checking out Diesel Brothers Truck Building Simulator. Um, I've actually been waiting for this game for a while, ever since I kind of saw it in a YouTube video about like top simulators in 2019. And I saw that this one was kind of being developed and I kind of feel like this is more my kind of style because... I don't know, I'm a pickup truck kind of guy, and I like, like, pickup truck racing and, like, demo derbies and stuff, so I kind of feel like this game, um, kind of portrays my life a little bit, so, um, it's based off of the Discovery Channel show Diesel Brothers, um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really watch cable at all, I mean, I don't have it, I mean, I barely even watch TV just because I don't really have the time, but I mean, I really don't know much about the show other than... Basically, they take, like, pickup trucks, and I don't know if it's, like, old pickup trucks about to go to the grave, and then they kind of, you know, fix them up and make them running again, kind of like show trucks or whatever. I feel, I kind of think that's just kind of the gist of the uh, show, but, I mean, it looks pretty badass. It's based off the show, and I know Discovery Channel actually has a couple different other games coming out, like, um, Alaskan Truck Simulator, uh, they have Deadliest Catch. And then I know there's a Storage Wars type game, but I'm not, don't think that's, no, that's not Discovery. Never mind, never mind. But I know they have a couple other games coming out as well that I'm interested in and can't wait for them to actually, like, be in development and early alpha and whatnot. So, yeah. But basically today we're going to be doing some uh, work on these mean diesel machines. Um, there's actually a cool thing about it is there's actually a multiplayer mode. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below because I would love to do some multiplayer in this game. But today we're actually just going to stick to single player, kind of get the gist of the game and whatnot. And I know I'm really, really, really late to the party on this game. Because I know people have actually been uh, playing it in like a week before it even came out. And it came out on the 10th, so Friday. And I was trying to do a video of it on Saturday, or Friday at least, before I went to work. But it didn't come out until I was at work, so I was like, shit. But let's go ahead and hop into single player. Uh, we're going to create a new profile. Uh, we'll do normal, heavy D. Alright, so we're going to create our uh, own cut here. Red beard. Muscle. Oh, I like Diesel Dave. Let's do, uh, let's do, what do we got? Blue t-shirt. Yeah, we'll do that. That looks cool. And then we'll do, that looks cooler. So yeah, Diesel Dave, we'll do that combination. That looks really nice. Uh, hello, Diesel Maniac. First, a few important things before you start. First, PC is very useful. They are all marketing options, possibility of transferring the car in big parts, access to the part shop and new trucks and tutorials. Second, if you ever get lost while we're building your truck, you can activate our guides by pressing H, which is very, very going to be very helpful to us since I know shit about uh, building trucks and whatnot and engines and stuff. Third, there are contextual tutorials. Whenever you use something for the first time, it's useful to watch them. That's all. Good luck. Hit E. Okay, so we're actually gonna just gonna keep watching the tutorials. Uh, this will be just the basics, but it may be helpful. Use your mouse to look around, to, in the, to move around in the garage and other locations. Use WSAD whenever you need to get into low places. Press C to crouch. Okay, so kind of simple, simple stuff. You want to stand back, just press C again. Basically, like simple stuff in games. Uh, traits. Um, so you probably change characters and whatnot. Each character has its own unique traits. Traits are not only affecting you, but the whole crew. You can stack multiple traits, but you have to remember that each same trait is half weaker than previous one. Okay, you can check a character and see what would be best for your team at the moment. Makes sense. Okay. Is the tutorial done? Almost. Okay, so I mean, it's a lot of games are like that, like more sports games where it's like the morale type deal. So I feel like that's kind of what this is about. Uh, let's actually go ahead and exit that. Um, so here's our little uh, diesel shop we got going on here. Got four bays it looks like. Um, actually it looks really, really nice. Very big, spacious. I see that. Very empty too. Um, just going to take a, little, take a little look around. Take a little look season, and see what we got. Got some empty milk crates up there. Uh, I got some shit back here, some random stuff it looks like, and boxes, and so I've got a hole, either that's a window or if that's a hole, I think, like, I'm gonna assume that's a window. 
delivery area. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's actually go into the computer and see what we got. Man, it's an old ass computer. Good lord. Oh, we got trucks, tutorials, uh, how to move traits, garage. Okay, I guess we can kind of sit here and watch all these tutorials. Um, but it doesn't seem like it's going to let us do anything. Ah, show key bond details, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm trying to see what we have to do. Because it's only giving us, like, tutorials. Orders, here we go. Quests. Today's episode, you learn how to pick the best quest and how to do to end it. All pending contracts are waiting for you here. You can only have one quest active at the same time. Makes sense. Before you get a quest, make sure to check the deadline and the budget. People sometimes want to give you as little money as possible. And wants almost instantly delivery at the same time. Makes sense. Contracts are being added every few hours. So you should always have something to work on. Makes sense. If you don't like some contract, you can reject it before buying. If you know you won't be able to finish the contract, it's sometimes better to drop the contract instead of finishing it way over time. It makes sense. That actually makes sense. The longer you finish the contract after deadline, the less budget will, the less budget it have. I mean, that, that that makes sense. It's like that in real life too. The less if you don't get it done by a thing, you'll lose money. Same thing in like American Truck Simulator and whatnot. So it it honestly makes a lot of sense. Um, so we're going to find a quest and see what's going on. Um, I feel like that's the whole tutorial. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, we got a part shop one, we got trucks, marketing. Okay, so we're kind of going to go through the tutorials here. But it looks like he wants the paint, the hood painted light blue, the right door light blue, and the left door light blue. Uh, it's going to be $10,000 unlimited, which is good. Okay, so we'll hit confirm on that one. Uh, our truck got ah, there. It is. Look at this. Look at this thing. This thing looks fucking ugly. Holy shit! This thing looks disgusting. There's no hood on it either. What the hell? Okay, so we open the door. Um, need to unscrew some stuff. I know that. So let's go ahead and hit C. Can't really open the door. Um, I need to go find my tools real quick, because I know I probably have like a screwdriver or some shit somewhere laying around. Drill. That's what I need. There we go. So I'm pretty sure it said, uh, unscrew and unmount front, front door. Oh, front left door. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Simple enough. I don't think we have to open it to unmount it, do we? No, we don't have it, have to have it open, do we? Right here. Okay, done, and right here, done, there's one, I don't think this is one, no, where's the other one, Zach, through an unmount, okay, let's drop that, there we go. Okay, trailers. In today's episode, you learn how to transport small objects. Yellow trailers used to transport small parts between it can be found in various locations being updated at all at once, which means you and your friends can access the same part from different locations. Awesome. Remember, if you want to, if you won't be first to grab it, you lose it. Oh, shit. Okay. So we have to keep that in mind. So if, like, let's say we're doing multiplayer and, like, my friend grabs it, I fucking lose it. So, okay, so I'm going to have to find that yellow trailer. Um, I feel like they make these tutorials longer than it should, they should be, because I feel like I kind of got the gist of it, where is that, there it is right there, alright, throw it on here, drop it, there we go, let's pick up our drill, let's go ahead and do the uh, right d side door, passenger side door, Drop you again. Get you. Now, I don't remember if they actually said if uh, they wanted the hood because there is no freaking hood on this car. Alright, I'm sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize the game was that quiet. 
Because I turned the music down. But, uh... Okay, so... Unscrew, open map, and go to Scrapyard. Scrapyard. Okay. No. Scrapyard. Yes. Alright, so I turned the game up a little bit more. But as you can see, we're currently at the Scrapyard. Um, what are we looking for? Add hood to your bucket. There's a hood right here. How do I grab it, though? E. Parts. Today's episode, you learn how to analyze parts you find in the scrapyard. There are four important things in the junkyard part description. Quality represents state and freshness of the part. Okay. Lower the quality, the more rust will be found on the part. Makes sense. The lower the quality, the cheaper it will be. Yeah. The lower the quality, the worse performance it adds. Makes sense. The car while driving. Well, I mean, it's a hood, so it price represents how much you would need to pay. Well, shit. Yeah, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Each part has some statistics that affects performance. You can watch more about in races, car lobby tutorial. Category describes if parts handle better on truck. That's the unique name. That's the unique way, name of your part. Okay. Please tell me that's not the whole tutorial. Uh, maybe it is. Uh, I feel like that is. So we'll add that to the cart. And then I'm guessing now we go to the checkout, which is right here. Shop. In today's episode, you learn how to buy your valuable funds. And what if you don't like it anymore? To buy the items, the only thing you need is the money. Well, I mean, obviously, adjust your basket, buy it, pull it all on the trailer. Go back to the garage. Where, Whenever you decide to buy a certain part, it will be deployed and awaiting for you in the deploy area. It's right next to the transport trailer, so you will not miss it. If you remove something from the basket, either intentionally or by accident, this part will be tossed to the dropouts area. Go there and rebuy it if you want. Okay. So I have a feeling anytime it says game save up here, um, means that uh, the tutorial's done. So we'll just go ahead and buy that. We have the money for it, so... Now we go to the put the hood on the trailer. Where are you piece of crap? There we go. It's on the trailer. Open map and go to sandblasting. Woohoo! We get to sandblast some stuff, peoples. Alright. Sandblasting. Sandblasting is useful to remove rust from paintable parts. Yeah, I mean. You need you can move the cabin bed to the sandblasting via the transfer tab in the laptop management. Other parts can be simply transported by the trailer. Pick the part you'd like to clean. Put on the rack or just use it on the ground whatever fits you. Grab the pistol from the stand and check if it has enough sand. If not, just go to the sand container and press E to refill. Whenever you agree that the part is clean enough, you can put it back to the trailer and use it in other locations. Okay. They make these tutorials so damn long. Like, I don't understand it. Okay, we'll pick that up. Put you right here. Pick up. It's got no sand. So we'll fill it. Alright. And... It's kind of awesome though. I, li I like this game. Like it goes in depth with everything. Which is really really cool. That's what I really do like about it. Is that you actually go in depth. Like you can literally sit here sandblast shit. Which is really nice. Um, that's not something you can do in a lot of games. Because I can sit here sandblast this motherfucker. And just like all that rust just comes right off. Just look at that. That's freaking beautiful right there. That is so freaking beautiful. It looks so freaking good. We didn't even use that much sand. Okay, and I feel like we have to come over here. Put hood on the trailer. Open map and go painting. Okay, I thought we would have to like sandblast the doors too to get the paint off of that, but I guess not. You want to travel the paint shop? Yes, I do. 
There's going to be a tutorial. I know it. I already know it. There it is. I knew there was going to be one. When you get to the painting, it's important to know some things before you start painting your parts. Well, I hope so. I mean, I kind of got to know how to paint. Fill amount is the value of how full your tank is. Whenever it reaches zero, you need to refill it at the color picker machine. Color is the active color in the tank. If you're not very important, very useful to know if you use the color you wanted to. Shape defines what pattern will be painted on the part. It can be changed whether you, whenever you pick the pistol. You can change the radius. It increases the paint usage per second. You can flatten or expand the shape. It allows you to paint straighter lines. Color picker is a machine that you can find on the desk. It allows you to change the type and color of the paint. It allows you to quick refill the container tank as well. Remember, each category type has a different price. Makes sense. And I feel like that's the tutorial. I'm going to assume so. Yep. Alright, so what do they want? Take the hood from the trailer. Put hood on the rack, right here. Take painting pistol. You. Choose proper color. Uh, I don't remember what color they wanted. I wonder if it's this one? Because it's got the uh, thing on it. Light blue. Yep, that's what I... Yep. Select it. Okay. Click the color for a re quick refill. Aha! That doesn't really look light blue to me. That's more purplish. How do I change the, uh, like, the size of the stuff? I think they said it was in the computer? No, it's not there. I don't know. I just feel like we need to cover more ground in the painting because I feel like this would be taking forever. Yeah, I feel like this would take forever if we just kept painting it like this, you know? You always want to just go up and down, pick, uh, stick whatever you started with. So if you go up and down, you go up and down. If you did, like, curves, you stick with the curves or whatever. Circles, lines, whatever. Because I know we're going to have to do the door and all that, too, so, uh... I don't know. That looks more purple to me than light blue. Honestly. That's just me, though. That looks more purple to me. We have to do the back of it, too? I don't think so. Put hood on the trailer. Okay. Put you back on here. No, nope, no. Nope. There we go. Take the front left door. Uh, that's the right door. Okay. Uh, that works. Come here. Put you on there. You get back over there. Same thing, light blue. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, we'll do a quick refill on this. And then we'll just start painting this thing light blue. Paint progress. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I feel like we should have sandblasted this first. Just to get the older paint off of it. But I mean, I guess that's just me. I feel like that's something I would have done first. But I mean, this game can do whatever it wants, I guess. I mean, that just looks shitty. 
Unless the dude like wants a little two tone paint job, but I mean, I don't, actually that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it don't look too bad. It looks fine to me, honestly. Yeah, it don't look that bad. So remember, we still have another door to do, and then we can kind of finish off this contract. But I kind of feel like it'd be cooler if you can actually like put tape on the windows and stuff. Like they would do in real life so you don't get paint on the windows and everything. You see it just kind of goes over the windows. But I feel like that would be really cool to just like put tape and stuff over the windows. I like kind of make it legit. we got to go refill up on our, our paint. Here's more paint. But yeah, I just kind of feel like this is going to have like a two-tone uh, paint to it. Which is not what we want. Because as you can kind of see there and stuff, I just kind of wish I knew how to change the uh, thing so we could actually cover more ground while we paint. See, it's going to have like kind of a two-tone right there though. That's the only bad part. And then here it's just going to be like all green or whatever. And then the mirror is going to be that way too. We're almost done, but not really. Yeah, this side gets painted. All right, so we got the the uh, left door all good to go now. Now I'm gonna put the nope, nope, fucker, get back here. There, nope, there we go. I'm gonna take this bad boy, put it right on the fucking trailer. And there we go. You, there we go. Grab you. Do a quick little refill, even though we don't really need it. But yeah, I don't understand who would I don't know who would like paint their truck light blue, but this legit does not look light blue to be honest. It looks perp more purplish to me, honestly. And if you guys in the comments are watching this, if you guys do agree with me, because this looks rather purple. If only I knew how to like change the uh, thing. Aha! I figured it out. I feel like we would cover more ground this way, so that's actually a lot better now. Cover more ground, have a bigger uh, hole, <laughs> you know? Whatever, whatever it's called out of. I don't can't. I, the word's not coming to me right now. But yeah, that just looks purple, unless it's kind of like the light in the room. But yeah, that looks, just looks more purple to me than it does light blue. We're almost done, but I need more paint. We gotta refill her a little bit. There we go. Kinda go down the thing one a couple more times. And I think we're done. Yes, we are. Put you back on there. Put you on here. That work for you? Open map, go back to the garage. Alright, mountain screw the hood. Oh, where's the trailer at? There she is. There we go. Let's grab that hood. There we go. Awesome. Let's grab our little handy dandy uh, drill. Screw that in. Screw that in. I don't think we have to unscrew a fender. Uh, we'll screw that one back in. And we'll screw that in. Alright, so the hood is now mounted in. We're going to go mount the left door right now, which is this bad boy right here. Go to mount this thing back on. Man, this truck looks fucking ugly. <laughs> that, I feel like this is more light blue than what we put on it, though. That's, that's the only bad part. Like, what the fuck? Oh, well, I'm not the one. It's not my truck, so... 
I don't screw in the cab. Screw the door in. There we go. There's one right there. Now I feel like we had put the yeah, put the right door on. Drop you. There we go. Pick up our little drill. Screw these two in. Alright, and I think that's it. Finish the order. I think that's on the computer, ain't it? E. 12,500. Fans change 100. Awesome. So we actually got through. We did five uh, lightning bolts. So that's really cool how we actually did that. Um, well, I feel like that's going to go ahead and do it for the episode, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Drop a comment. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this game. Because I'm actually kind of into this game. I do like it a lot from playing it from I've only played it this one time but I actually do kind of enjoy it from playing like car mechanic simulator and stuff like that but I haven't actually played that on the channel I kind of play that on my own just because I suck at it so just kind of doing the learning stages and whatnot so let's actually go ahead and put our drill back do I not put it there no okay we'll just drop it but yeah let me know if you guys do want to see more of this game because I do plan on doing a lot of it so let me know if you guys do want to see it um, we'll probably do some different contracts and stuff later on, but I'm having a lot of fun with it, so hopefully you guys are too. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys follow me on all the social medias, Twitter, Instagram, join the Discord server, add me on Snapchat. All that stuff is down in the description below. And uh, yeah, guys, hope you guys had an awesome weekend. Hope you guys are going to have an awesome, great start to your week. I will catch you guys here later. Peace out, everyone.